This is Raven from Raven's Reviews, and welcome back to the channel! So a huge thank you goes out to all of those beautiful humans that commented and watched part one of the Spongebob video. But now, we're going into part two. So using Nail Chick Maddie's inspiration, I am going to do my best to make a stinking adorable Gary the Snail. So let's get into it. So going in with my Madame Glam Essentials, we are dipping into Perfect White so I can create the background of Gary the Snail and truly make him pop. For this design, you will need a dotting tool and a fine liner brush. Now, I ended up actually relying mostly on my Madame Glam detail brush and um, this gorgeous liner that I got from Envy uh, in an international bestie box. So this art was ridiculously fun to do. And I even do the tiny anime glare dots like on the eyes. And I just think it totally made Gary if you guys watch Spongebob, you know how ridiculously adorable Gary is. So Gary is essentially like the Jesse in my life. So Gary's Spongebob is Jesse to my world. <laughs> you gotta have a right hand, right? <laughs> so as I was editing this video, I was actually on the phone with my dad in the UK and he was like goo goo over Gary. And then I was like, oh, you like my Gary? Gary! I had to do the Spongebob laugh. <laughs> he lost it. But I just think that Spongebob and Gary's relationship is just so adorable. And it just like, that's that's his, not like fur baby, but his aquatic baby, you know? <laughs> so it wouldn't be a Spongebob set without Gary. So I had to do him. So they were both beside each other. So mixing, doing a mixture of the perfect white and perfect pink, I'm going to make Gary's snail. And then we're also going in with the perfect red for Gary's eyes. Uh, the purple is gonna be on the shell and Bessamy is gonna be with a mixture of glaze for his body. And I love there, I said Gary's snail. Gary is a snail. <laughs> I meant Gary's shell. <laughs> So I'm quickly, um, this is the only non-Madam Glam color. Um, I'm dipping into I Deserve It from Red Iguana and we are just making his adorable eyes. So with character art, the eyes are the trickiest, trickiest part, but I can actually say I got these eyes done one shot. The only thing I had to change was um, the anime dots, which you'll see later on. I switched from the dotting tool um, to the fine liner but I was so impressed. So Nail Chick Maddie, thank you for creating such a gorgeous sketch that I was able to just paint this so effortlessly because I find that sometimes you can get reference images and they kind of do your head in, but this reference image just made everything fall to piece, like um, not fall to pieces, oh my Lord, I need coffee. Fall into place, there we are, words are tough. <laughs> So I'm again dipping in with that I deserve it and I'm just doing the bottom like the snail trail if you will. In doing Gary I actually had to do a few customized colors. So I did customize the colors on his shell and the color of his body because I just couldn't get that perfect. It's like a perfect mixture between blue and purple. Um, so I did do, um, how do you say? I was a mixologist and <laughs> um, I mixed those paints to perfection. So I'm really happy because those custom colors really elevated this entire, entire nail. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just, I can't get over it. Like I think both Gary and Plankton both have red in their eyes, which you would think would just make them look a little dazed and confused, but it doesn't. It actually works in cartoon land, so <laughs> that's interesting. But I just had so much fun painting, and this actually, I decided this is going to be a series. So each video is going to be for each character, just so that I can give them their true glory. So this entire video is going to be dedicated to Gary the Snail. Okay. 
So it was at this very moment where I don't know if it was a mixture of like the way the eyes looked, but I thought of a Finding Dory set. I thought that would just be the business. So if you guys, if that's something you would like to see, please comment down below. As well as if there's any other characters that you would like to see me paint, please comment down below. I have really wanted to strengthen that muscle, that character art um, skill. So please, if there's anything, I would love to hear it. And see, so this is the part I was talking about. I really wanted it to be a dainty dot, so I actually wiped those dots, the bottom ones away, and I went in with my Madame Glam detail liner, and I just, the fine liner, and I just made the, the cutest little dots in the world. So for the eyes and for this um, little detail on the shell, I actually used a mixture of the perfect white and the perfect red. And oh my goodness, this perfect purple was a gorgeous addition to this little shell. I just thought it was so stinking cute. So I have to say a big thank you for jumping onto that pirate ship and coming on for the journey that is the SpongeBob SquarePants set. So in part three of this video, we are gonna be doing Patrick. So y'all, if you do not have your notification bells on, you gotta click them so you don't miss anything. And if this is your first time watching, please hit that subscribe bell so you can join the family. And I just, uh, I cannot thank you enough for clicking on to this video. My nail family, you mean the world. And I am just jumping through this screen and giving you the biggest hug ever. So I am just quickly going in with I Deserve It and just making those lines more detailed on the eye. And now finally, we are top coating. Now there was a casualty here, contamination. <laughs> I quickly wiped that off. And we are going in with Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. This is my favorite top coat. It is so delicious. So I'm just going to be quiet and we are going to have a moment together. The Top Coat Moment. Did you see how the brush essentially hugs the nail? Like I am like a geek for Madame Glam. I love their brushes, I love the formula, I just love everything. But their products made this character art so stinking easy. So thank you Madame Glam. And thank you my beautiful nail family for watching. I cannot wait to see you in part three for the Patrick drawing. And I just, I love y'all. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Mwah. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.